What's going on guys, Flick here, and I'd like to welcome you all back to another episode of Career Mode Player Reviews. Today we're going to be having a look at Gonzalo Gages. I hope my Portuguese pronunciation is not too far off with that, but if you guys do go on to enjoy this episode, make sure you leave a like down below, and of course, leave your player suggestions for me to review in future episodes down in the comments section, but let's jump right into the review today. At the start of Career Mode, Gages is a 67 rated left mid, 17 years old, and is showing great potential with a value of 450,000. Relatively cheap, but when he's at Benfica and Enquiry, this is at the start of season two because he is a new addition to the team. They're gonna say seven million. So I would say you can pick him up for nowhere more than five million or so. You can probably pick him up for less than that to be completely honest. But we'll move on to the player information and you guys can see he has the ability to play left mid as well as striker. For this review, I mostly played him at striker so I can get some good goals for you guys. Uh, but he is right footed, has high low work rates, three star weak foot, three star skill move set. And he does have the long shot taker trait right from the start and no specialties. We'll take a look at the attributes now and you can see he's got pretty good physical attributes for a 67 rated player. Mostly in the upper 70s and lower 80s and he's got good ball control dribbling and pretty good shot power and finishing. But we'll jump ahead and see what he looks like when he is 30 years old. By the time Gages reached 30 years old, he managed to achieve an 89 overall rating for me. I was happily surprised to see him reach that status. Any value of 30.5 million. And we'll move on to take a look at his specialties. The dribbler, distance shooter, and acrobat specialties were all picked up. Really good for that left mid position, uh, taking those shots from outside the box. But even at the striker position, also very versatile. And we'll take a look at the attributes. You guys can see he did manage to grow across the board. Really good growth in the physical department. Uh, managing to achieve ratings in the mid to upper 80s. And in the technical department, he also had some tremendous growth. Some in the 30s, some in the upper 20s. Finished with 96 ball control, 97 dribbling, 90 long passing as well as short passing, 96 long shots, and 97 shot power were probably his most notable attributes. But I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons here and the goals and highlights to follow. As is the case for most players that I have not used before reviewing, it took me a little bit of time to adjust to Gedges' play style, but once I did, I found myself really enjoying him as a player. His first pro that I'm going to talk about is his speed. He's got 85 acceleration, 87 agility, and 89 sprint speed, meaning that you can easily run by those left backs, right backs, and center backs with no problem. The next pro is going to be his dribbling, 96 ball control and 97 dribbling means that you need to utilize that, dance around those defenders and then use that burst of pace to get around them. Uh, his next pro is his passing, he's got 90 long passing, 90 short passing and 85 crossing if you do decide to play him on the wing. His long shots are also incredible as you guys will see from the last clip, he's got 96 long shots and 97 shot power. Lastly, his price is a major pro because you can pick him up for under 5 million or so and that's a really good price for a player that develops into 89 rated. Two cons to talk about, his first one being his strength at 65 and the other con being his 3 star skill moves. If that was 4 star, that would make him that much better. But overall, I'm going to give him a rating of 9.3 and a value for price of 9.6. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this career mode player review today. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And until next time, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.